Hello, my great son. Rinky here. And I saw a talk about another of another video today. So I decided to get up to talk to you guys to tell you about a movie to gain some memes. A movie from they've been making memes based on movies from my childhood, like they do like the B movie, which is a movie I actually like because well there are two things I know about like my childhood that was really that's still pretty popular today. DreamWorks and Captain Underpants. Yeah, I it like to, I appreciate how that was actually the book. But we're not talking about the B movie. We're talking about Barnyard. In case you're wondering, what about this biggie cheese in that cow? Well for some reason. Uh, She's in that cow, except perhaps something. Well, it actually comes from a movie from 2005 by Nickelodeon Movies called Barnyard. First, I'll talk about the movie and I'll tell you what those memes started it. I'll even talk about the TV series. What? Yeah, the TV series? I, but I hope Viacon doesn't shut this video down. Yeah, so, what about it? Well, the movie's about Otis, who has to get through a... He will have to have to help farm, so he has to be the one to leave the farm now. So, what are they doing? Flip the farm with his father, who is a brown cow. Which, there is that joke where, ch about the chocolate cow joke, yeah, I get it. Now, there also is, and for some reason, for some reason, dude cows have others. Isn't that the female? The movie's about where Dennis Farris dies, then they, then there's some party because of wolves, and there's also those cows that only appear in one. They even show a bunch of milk, and where they kept saying, don't show it, it's right here. Don't show it, it's right here. <sighs> I'm not doing a verbal face, I'm just trying to show the scene. Now, I would love watching the movie. I even appreciate its cartoon series. It was a very obscure scene. So, what about the series? Now, after the movie, which, uh, spoilers, but they're not being done to go back there again, which, look at my other characters. Like, there was this girl and then the baby. But, but unfortunately, that doesn't, near them up here, they're pleasant with this. Rather low educated girl. They kept they kept the sassy black cow. And they kept like many of its friends. Now about the memes that started out. Biggie G started off on the scene of the part where they show this guy we're singing a song which where he says you're calling me Mr. Boom Busty. Yeah. That's what the guy would say. So, what now? And the perhaps, the cow with the, the word said perhaps comes from when Otis is actually disguising himself as a cow, he goes down there. Yeah. You're going up and down. Yeah. Yeah, they turn many obscure movies into memes now. So, after that, what happened? Well, years, some years. I don't know like how long. They got they made a series for it, which was called which was called Back in the Barnyard, which which had a theme song which had a theme song and made it a lot more cheesier. But they don't even mention the father is dead. They don't even mention it. Now I loved watching the series. I know I said I didn't have cable, but when before my well, my brother and sister, who one of you might know my sister as Lion Cub, as a younger baby, but I was in school. After school, I would see I would be at a daycare, which was run by a house. Who knows one? 
but then we but then we went to but then after we moved from Alexandria to Minneapolis we started getting our own back into networks yeah we went from watching Kids WB to watching Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon we weren't into the Disney stuff I still don't want to watch it either. I still hate Disney. I thought I was a fan of it. Now, the show consists of like other stuff. I feel like many of the characters. The show is a very obscure gem. Now, the movie. Now the show is about didn't last. I don't know how long it lasted. But, what about it? It does pretty good. The show, yeah. It's not your cup of tea, but hey. Gotta deal with, gotta deal with it. Now, it's not like like, like my favorite, if they then takes the cake for my favorite Nicktoon. So, uh, so uh, it was so obscure, it's even on Nicktoon. It barely even airs on Nicktoons now. But hey, you gotta get what you gotta do, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, So, uh, what about it? Well, you remember that, you remember that woman from that movie where she fought for she gets to see barn animals. Well, guess what? That's her. That's her trait. She's trying to try and get them to expose them. Yeah. And there was Snotty Boy, and Tyler was revealed. He's actually the nephew of those two. Yeah. They even made to, they even made, even not to, yeah, of course, the parents are pure, and, and Snotty's actually a lot more, also rude to the barn animals. The farmer's there, but we, don't we get to see him? We can see him that much. We get to see him, like, so much. We discovered he lost his wife. We get the new, and he gets into a little, a love interest. Yeah. Would they even help them sometime? I said, there were some scenes with those pizza dudes. Yeah, they even disguised themselves, which... Those are the least revealing... Those are the least likely. How you're going to wonder... Why do they have the giant bulges? The bulges in there. Yep, this does include now. I found five times. The memes are funny. I don't really use them a lot. Know about them, but many Nickelodeon shows are for some reason getting these Nickelodeon memes, like such as Lazy Town with their "We Are Number One" song, which I do not. Which was a show I did not get into. Really, like many new shows, shows. I always go for the one day. I always pretty much root for the one day that didn't want me to eat healthy. And did I? And did I hate it? Did I still eat healthy? <clears throat> you tell me. Monk, this video's been long for one minute, so yes, this is my, uh, it's my, this is my respectful respect on Barnyard, a movie I used to watch when I was a kid. It was kind of a great movie. I was to it. It was kind of funny. It can do the antics, but but for some reason, it 
and Road Taxi, aka Pan Pizza, didn't even mention the show as the top 10 obscure Nick shows. He mentioned Tiger's the Power of Juju, but not, but not this move, not this show. Did he mention that? Yeah, so that's it. Make sure to leave a comment, a vote with the like so I can get good views. Yeah, so bye bye, and I will continue with this. Not too good, but hey, bye bye.